Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome to Stormworks. Things are about to get a little out of this world with today's custom build. Stick around to see what I mean. And so about any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome to the game everybody and look at that! Cabal Space Program has come to the world of Stormworks. Who would have thought that would ever happen? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That is a space shuttle complete with rocket boosters on a barge. I saw this and I was like, yeah, we're doing this. This is happening immediately. So sit back and let your boy Spamos take you for a tour and let's maybe send this thing into space or blow up, whichever's easier. So look at that. That's what we've got going on here. United States, NASA, Space Shuttle. It's absolutely ginormous. I haven't been on board yet, but as far as I'm aware, we can go aboard. We can actually fly it. I don't think we can go to space, but we can sure as hell try. And up here by the bow, well, that's the business end. You got your rocket boosters and a whole lot of kaboom coming out of those. This thing's going to go vertical and those rockets are going to line up perfectly with those plug socket like things. And well, I guess they're going to take a beating. Now, as for the barge itself, well, it's controlled from there. That's the bridge. That's where you make all the sailing happen. But on the other side, you got this building here, which appears to be the mission control launchy platform. Make happen go up to sky. Good mission room. Right. With the overview done and out the way, it's time we put our feet on ground and have a look for ourselves. Welcome on board. I should point out, I got this from the Steam Workshop. You can get it yourself. There's a link in the video description down below. Now, come with me. I'm taking you to the bridge. I want to show you a couple of things before we get in and deeper, because this is not your standard model. This is an advanced model or advanced ship, so it kind of isn't as go-karty as you might expect. I first have to start the fuel pumps by doing this, Hadouken, and then with that, you can start the main engines. Just like that. A little dark in here to get some lights up and running. Now over here, we've got a whole anchor control system. I've never really used anchors in this game. We should probably drop an anchor. It's hard to see, but that's an anchor dropping right there. And how do can? We have contact with the seafloor. Now this is so cool. You can see from these dials here how deep the anchors are. Amazing! Right, we've got a foghorn, don't care about that. Deck lights, we should probably have those turned on. Beam lights, don't know what they are, but they're turned on. And to actually sail this thing, you've got to take this clutch and put that into gear, and then your throttle's going to start working, and you'll start moving. Right, we're going to leave the wheelhouse and go for a look on the mission control room thing. Haven't really looked around deeply in here. Windows 98, always a lovely sight to be seen. Yeah, all I've really done is sail to here to start the video. It's a little laggy back in port, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't want to start pushing buttons yet. Launch tower lights. Well, it's still packed down. It's not. But well, I think I know what I'm looking at, but we'll come back to that a little bit later. So stepping back down the staircase, back onto the deck, you can really get an impression of how large this thing actually is. But wait, there's more. Stepping underneath the rocket itself, you got a doorway. And I have to say, I'm a fan. It's big, it's thick, and it's hench. And it'll have to be to take the blast of a rocket, and it closes by itself. Roll over for SpaceX. Right, we can't go that way. There's a key lock and it says no people allowed. So what's down here? Ooh. Um, I, wow, this looks important. We've got diving equipment, fire equipment. I, yay, role players. Electrical circuit breakers. So these dials are showing the fuel tanks. So I'm guessing this is just part of the ship's engines. So have I got four engines on this bad boy? Okay, I turned all those on. That was fun. Um, let's go and look what else happens. This door is locked with a keypad. It's not going to stop me getting in there. I, I have ways. I have methods. With my trusty camera tool, no doorway will stop me as I go straight through it like Casper the Ghosts. So we've got a way down. I wonder if the guy who made the ship just kind of wanted to troll us a little bit. Like, you're not allowed down here. Only I'm allowed down here kind of thing. Like, I'm the captain. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Well, yeah, we've got the four big beefy engines and yeah, they sure are beefy. It all looks mighty impressive. I mean, there's pipes coming out of everything. Okay, well, that's all that was in there. How about we launch the rocket, everybody? Yay. Unlock the switch. Switch opens up. Launch tower up. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh. Are the red things going with it? That makes so much more sense. Look at that, everybody. Slowly but surely, it's rising into position. And I don't know, I didn't realize the church you involved this left a holy cross behind in its bargy path. The engines are lining up with the plug sockets, just like the prophecy foretold. And there you have it, everybody. The rocket is in position. And dear Lord, is it massive. 
<laughs> I thought it was big when we was walking the decks, but look at it erect like that. It's so big. By the way, precision engineering. Those rocket boosters have lined up perfectly with the plug socket thing. Look at this, going through one of the exit vents. Oh, there's the business end right there. You don't want to be in here because you'd be barbecued. Launch tower lights on. Beam lights on. It's daytime. Don't need lights, do I? There's one thing missing. It's the big red button that says launch. Maybe that's on board. All right, we have an elevator here. Oh, we're totally going aboard. We're totally doing this. I'm gonna die. Okay, reaching the top of the gantry. It's getting mighty windy. This must be what those lights were on about when we turned them on. And this red thing makes a whole lot more sense now. <laughs> It's so simple. Uh, there's a button here just for me. <laughs> this is so cool. Right. Hi. No, I wasn't on yet. Hi. Let's try that again. All right. Don't hang around. Go, 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 go. I I'm on board. And I'm now, I'm now, this is happening. I'm stuck here. I can't leave even if I wanted to. Oh, there's the cockpit right there. I could probably jump straight into a seat. Can I go down? There is a down. Should I down now? Now may be bad time to down. Yeah, let's not go down. That's the way that death lies. Equip parachutes. You know what? Just in case. Right, we're in the pilot seat, everybody. We got some commands. One's landing gear. Two is parachute. Three is landing wheel brakes. So this is us right now, like an angry French fisherman. I'm playing with my joystick. <laughs> Panel lights on. Cool. Right. Unlock the start button. Everybody needs a start button, don't they? There it is. There's an autopilot. Oh, I'd like that, please. Cabin heaters. I'm, I'm good. Well, that's it, everybody. All that remains is to hit the start button and hold on to your butts. Whoa, I didn't even notice the gantry has separated. Where did that happen? Hey, let's do this. There's no turning back. Okay, I'm getting noises. Nothing's happening yet. Ah! Okay, it's happening. Main engines ignition started. Okay, the cradle's leaning backwards. All engines running. I think it's just down to me to hit the fro throttle. Uh, throttle up. Ooh, that's a lot of throttle. Ooh, we're flying, everybody. Dear God, we're actually doing it. And we're going very fast. I've never flown in this game before. Right, what do I do? What do I do? Um, there's, so there's my pitch and y'all. Um, I should do something about that, shouldn't I? Altitudes, that's going up. That's a good thing to have. Rocket boosters. Landing, no, no landing. Break, no parachutes. I need to detach my things. But how do I detach my, my rocket boosters? Ah, disconnect boosters. Now that is epic, everybody. Attention, epic gamers. We have a shuttle currently leaving Earth. Is it going to come back? Likely not. <laughs> this is the coolest. Oh, I'm going to play a lot with this. Those rocket boosters, it kind of looks like they're just like, I don't know, shooting milk out or something. We're coming up on 13,000 feet. Should we go for detach? Make detach happen. Okay, is that looking good? Looking good? Detach engines! Is it happening? There it goes! We have a successful detachment, everybody! And the power, they've got parachutes! Oh, this is amazing! Okay, everybody, we are in control. Um, we're flying, apparently. My gimbal there, is it? Yeah, that's, okay, we're level, we're level? Now we're level, okay, that's cool. Amazing, where even am I right now? Well, we're discovering the map incredibly fast. <laughs> right, I wanna land this thing eventually, but I wanna go walk around the cabin and stuff. Am I okay to go for a walk? Okay, oh, oh, I'm out of my seat, but I'm kind of floating around the place. Let's slow down some more. Slow down right down. Let's have a look around the space shuttle, shall we? Ooh. So we've got a satellite here in the, I don't know, whatever this area is called. Move arm in. Open, close. Hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> We're traveling about a million miles an hour. Yeah, let's open up the doors. Who cares about turbulence anyway? Well, there goes that. I mean, we need air braking, am I right? Release. Goodbye! <laughs> well, there goes our satellites. Didn't quite make it to orbit, but oh dear. Yeah, jumping is not the smartest of ideas. Who's a clever sausage? Not you, darling. I want to step on the wing. How stupid is this? Oh, America! My guy's so cool. He can walk on rockets. I can't even see the ground. Um, right, let's go back inside, yes? Yeah, in reality, opening those while traveling at this speed 
They would have blown off. But well, this seems to be handling itself amazingly. I haven't got to do anything. I need a runway if I'm going to land. It's down there somewhere. Let's descend. The ground is getting closer. We're only 12,000 feet now. All I can see is clouds. If it wasn't for that dot, I wouldn't have a clue. I haven't even got any radar or nothing on board. Okay, I'm trying to keep myself from like a 45 degree banking angle with our nose down so that we can just kind of spiral our way down and so we can get a visual of what we're doing with life. 1,700 feet. Okay, so that's a level out, a level out. 900 feet or meters. Oh God, well, there's something dead ahead of us. Well, that's a runway. Fantastic, I'll take it. Slowing down and turning don't really go well together. Oh God, I'm, I'm fidgeting all over the place. Oh, well, there's land. Goodbye, high land. Goodbye, land. Oh, God. What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. We've landed, everybody. That kind of suddenly happened, didn't it? Hello. I am astronaut. Um, well, we're alive. That's important. There's water inside. We're probably going to sink very soon. Open up the hatch. And now we're escaping. Well, how about that? It's not the landing we want, but any landing you can swim away from is a good landing. Well, I'm going to call that an episode right about there. This has been crazy fun. I highly recommend this. If you've got Stormworks, give this a download. There's a link in the description. Don't forget. But most of all, did you enjoy yourself? If you did, leave me a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter and tell me how much of an idiot I am. On that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.